I was out yesterday looking for some parts to rehandle and refit a couple of axes. When I stumbled across this, mainly by accident, I wasn't looking for a new axe. It's made by Beaver. It's a handle and a half. Lint axe with a one and three quarter pound head. The main thing that caught my attention is that the bit is really nice and thin looks to be a decent hardwood cutting profile. Three of them in the store, all three of them had very nice tapered bits. And just for comparison, there's the bit on the Brooks. So it's a bit different in overall profile, but uh, general thickness is actually a bit less now the main difference is the bit profile on the Brooks you can see has a sweeping hollow right here and then carries out to a very wide convex bevel right here this basically is to get the chips to relief and then this right here is to provide some release when you're in thicker wood and of course to lighten the bit and balance it so again you have this deep concave hollow and then sweeps out to a wide arch. Now, if you look at the beaver in comparison, it has an almost continuous hollow that runs really, really far out, and it has a much thinner or narrower edge. Now, of course, it doesn't come sharpened at all. I mean, this is dead blunt. Uh, it actually has a really wide and really dark burr which most likely indicates it was overheated and it has a layer of varnish on the edge just so it doesn't come corroded so first thing you need to do to make this even usable is sharpen the edge put the angle on it that's suitable for local woods and get rid of that damaged metal so what I'll actually do is file this back probably somewhere between a 32nd and a 64th of an inch thick right at the flat and then I'll resharpen it just to get rid of this weakened metal. But very nice to uh, see this, a bit of a pleasant surprise for only $30. It also is decently put together. Uh, the handle is perpendicular to the head. Uh, the head is not twisted either way, and the edge of the bit neatly splits the pole of the axe if you sight down it. It only has a couple of minor problems. You can see compacting of the handle where it was fitted relatively hastily. And most likely, I would assume they've got this handle glued on, again, to make up for sloppy fit. Because uh, you can see a large gap there at the back, gaps there in the front. And the metal wedge that they put in has already split the handle. But again, for $30 pretty decent. The only thing that I really don't like about this is you can see the handle is really really thick. There's a handle on an axe that I recently just uh, rehafted this morning and you can see how much thinner it is in both directions than the beaver. The beaver is much thicker and much wider. Uh, now because I'm used to working with axe heads that um, now because I'm used to working with handles that are a bit thinner uh, there's going to be a bit of fatigue when I start using this because my hand is going to be a bit more open and it also has a bit more weight than I'm used to using with an axe head of this size so I can either sand this handle down or I can use it like this and just develop a bit more strength in my hand in this sort of position and normally I like a bit of versatility uh, to my tools just to give me a bit more experience and I think I'm going to leave this handle on that again just to sort of round out my experience and my only main concern of course is how the head is going to hold up but assuming there's no major problems and assuming that the split in the handle where they use the metal wedge uh, isn't that dramatic I think it should be a fine uh, working axe for around $30. Now I normally don't like axes of this length because you take an axe like this, it's very easy to use one-handed 
very versatile tool. You take axes of about this length and to me they're relatively awkward. They're not very easy to use one-handed. Uh, you can't really do any felling with them because they're too short unless you want to leave really high stumps. The main thing that I end up using these for is harvesting deadfall and limbing and they're not very versatile. So generally if I had to pick an axe I'd have a full-size felling axe or a small hatchet. But I mean some people really love these uh, handle and a half sort of type axes which are in between a hatchet and a full size felling axe. And they do make decent uh, pack axes because they are a lot more capable than a hatchet because you can obviously use them with two hands. So it is just what you're looking for.